In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can utilize the edge lighting feature on your Samsung Galaxy Note 9 or other edge Samsung devices. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can change your notifications on your Samsung Edge device from the drop down to the Edge lighting. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 or a Note 8 or an S9, S9 Plus, S8, S8 Plus, or even an S7 Edge, this feature will work for you. First, I do want to mention I'm using a Note 9 from Samsung that is unlocked and some of the features may vary depending on what country you are in. So the first thing that we need to do is head into the settings of the phone, and then we're going to go down here to display, and we are going to go down here until we find edge screen. So when we open this up, we have a few different options here. Here we have edge panels, which you can swipe over and you have access to all these shortcuts on the side, but we are going to look at edge lighting. So before you go into this, I did go into the about screen and select update just to make sure that you are on the latest available update. So I'm just going to open up edge lighting and I am going to turn it on. So now instead of the drop down, it is going to give me a pop up on screen just like this little picture is showing. And then if you have your screen off in certain cases, it will show the pop up as well. And you have a few different options. So down here, you can have it show you the notification only when your screen is on, or you can have it show you when your screen is off, or you can always have it show that pop up notification for whenever you get a notification on your phone. Now, next is the option to adjust what the notification looks like. So here, if I go into edge lighting style, you'll see that it instantly pops up with what I have selected. So then down here, we have the different effects that you can use. So if I open this up, we have these first four effects. So here we have the basic effect. So that one's pretty simple, just one color on the outside. Here we have multicolor. That one looks pretty cool. Here we have the glow, so it's gonna glow around the outside, not quite as noticeable. Here we have the glitter effect, so it's changing colors around the outside. And then over here, I actually have a bunch more um, that I haven't shown on some of these edge lighting videos. Now I got these by going into the Samsung Galaxy apps and downloading the Edge Lighting Plus app. Now this app isn't available in all countries. I will leave a link below where you can download and add it to your phone if possible. But once you add that and download that to your phone, now you have these other options. So here we have a fluid transition. Here we have the boomerang. Here we have the galaxy. Here we have one called loop. And then here we have one called celebrate. So that one, not quite as noticeable again. But let's go back to the beginning here on the basic and show you some of the other options. So down here we have a color. So right now it is set to green, but I could actually choose a specific color that I want. So if I want to choose blue or this orange or pink, purple, whatever color you would like, this will set so all of the notifications that you get on edge lighting will show up in that color, um, except for phone calls. Now, if you wanted to have a specific color per application, here you would select app color and you could go in and choose the different colors for the app. So right here, aloe is already set to match the logo there. And then down here, you can see the full list of applications that could be supported and you can adjust them there. And then up here on the top, you can reset the app colors if you want to take them back to default. So let's go back and we're gonna select green, just that seems to show up best on video. And then here we can go to transparency. So transparency is how well you can see the edge lighting. So if you are on low, that's actually gonna show the edge lighting the most. If you are on high, that is going to have it be the most transparent it can be. So you barely see it there. So I suggest having it on low so it's very noticeable. And then the next setting here is the width. So the wide makes it be as wide as possible. If you go down here to narrow, it's just this tiny edge around the outside of the screen. So I suggest going over to wide. While you are playing with this and finding out what you like, you can tap on the screen. That will hide all the information and there you can have it show up just as it would when you receive a notification. So now that is all the ways where you can adjust the settings on there. And you will notice that on some of these, you only have a few options down here at the bottom, like only transparency and effect. You don't have a different color on some of the options down here. So let's go back to basic. Once you find what you like, you would select apply. And then down here, the last option that we have is the manage notifications. So only certain applications by default are turned on to actually give you that 
edge lighting notification. So I do want to mention up here at the top that um, here you would select the different apps that you want, but here it says edge lighting won't work if notifications are turned off in the app settings. Depending on the app and notification type, some notifications may not cause the edge screen to light up. So that means certain applications. One I know of is the Messenger app from Facebook, or here we have WhatsApp. You cannot see those notifications. In WhatsApp, you can actually go in and turn a setting on where you'll see the pop-up, but there are just some apps that do not have the support for it. So here we're gonna test Hangouts. We're gonna go into Messages. If I scroll down here, we can test Allo. And then you would want to just go through this list of applications that you have and anything you want to have a pop-up on screen, make sure that you turn that on. And again, certain applications like Gmail won't give you the pop-up and other apps. So just be cautious of that. And then we go back and now we can test it out. So let's go to our home screen here. Let's send ourselves a text message. So now you can see that pops up. Here we have the message on screen and it gives you a little notification. If I get a second message, so this is coming from the same application, you can actually interact with it. So I can actually swipe down and it's gonna pop up that app so that I can then respond back right on the screen. Now let's test with the screen off. So here, if the screen is locked, and then I receive a notification, you can see that pop up there and there is no way to extend how long it shows up. It's just a brief pop up and then it goes away. I have had a lot of questions if the always on display affects this. So let's turn the always on display off and let's send that notification again. So even with the always on display off on the default message application, you still get that notification. All right, now let's try a notification from a different application. Okay, there in Hangouts, for some reason, it didn't actually give me the notification. It just showed up at the top of the screen. All right, now let's try Google Allo and see if it will give me the notifications. There you go, it gives the pop-up on screen. Let's clear that out and try again while the screen is off. So some of the applications just don't push the notification when the screen is off. I've checked, I could not find a way to turn that on. It will just give you the option right there. Now, if you do use WhatsApp for messaging, you can go here into the WhatsApp, go into the menu and then settings and under notifications, you will need to turn on the pop-up notification. And then when your screen is on, you will be able to receive those pop-up edge lighting notifications. So now that we've talked about the message notifications, let's talk about phone calls on edge lighting. So if you go into the quick panel notification up here, you can actually turn off edge lighting right there. You can also select edge lighting, and then here you could change from screen on or screen off and always, but we're gonna select details right here, and that will take us into the full settings of edge lighting. So up here at the top, we do have a settings, and we have quick reply. So when you receive a phone call and you have the phone face down, you can actually reject a call by putting your finger over the heart rate monitor. So we're gonna turn that on, and then here you could change the quick reply message. So first, let's show you what a phone call looks like when you have edge lighting turned on. And to be able to see the edge lighting notification, you do have to have your phone locked or the screen turned off, and then your phone has to be face down on a flat surface. So if you have a case or anything, it really shouldn't damage your phone. But some people during meetings, they do like to have their phone face down so that it is not distracting them. So let's try this out. Now when you do receive a phone call, there is no way to change the color. It only defaults to the green here. So now I'm going to reject the call by placing my finger over the heart rate monitor. So I just place it there for one second and then the text message has been sent off indicating that I am busy, call back later. Now when you do receive a phone call and the edge lighting is going off, once you pick up the phone, it will then turn off the edge lighting and then it will just show the call on screen. And when your phone is down and you receive a supported text message, you will see a little bit of edge lighting as well on the side and then it will quickly go away.
And that is how you can utilize edge lighting on your new Samsung device. If you guys have any further questions about how this feature works, please let me know in the comments below. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. And if you wanna learn all about what your Note and I can do, make sure you select the playlist over here on the side. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.